The Speedway F722 version 3 is fast becoming people's favourite flight stack since it was released last month. And you just need to watch the reviews and analysis videos, not just by me, to see quite how good it is. And hot on its heels, Speedy B have just released this, the F405 version 3 flight stack, which is just as impressive. And in some ways, it's more impressive. It's only $70, which is about £60, and gives you very similar functionality as the F722, pretty much close to half the price. Now, although it's only using the STM32 F405 processor rather than the F722, you're getting a fantastic 50 amp stack with all the same wireless connectivity and a load more cool features at a ridiculous price. And in the current climate of rising costs, well, I don't quite know how they've done it, but let's have a detailed look at what you get for your money. Hello and welcome to the Whirly Bloke channel. This is YouTube, you know what to do. Now as you open things up, you'll immediately see this 405 stack has the same beautiful build quality as uh, other electronics. I mean, these really are very high quality PCBs. Let's get the 4M on ESC out. Go. And under here you get some mounting hardware by the looks of things. Let's get all this out. So these are M3 mounting bolts, a couple of additional gummies, soft mount gummies. These are Speedy B's signature bright yellow gummies, which I really like. And you've got some nylon bolts and some additional plastic washers and there's an XT60 wide connector which is all very nice and here we have got a 1500 microfarad 35 volt low ESR noise suppression capacitor which is pretty usefully marked with red and black sleeves and also in here there's a wired harness to connect the two boards together, which is fairly normal, and you get this six pin, six wire DJI interconnect cable harness. All very nice. Now, this stack is the standard 30.5 by 30.5 mounting, and many of the features on this flight stack are the same as their flagship F722 stack. You know, with a few differences. At the heart of the flight controller board is an STM32 F405 chip and along the top under this very useful cutout we've got all the connections for your FPV camera. Just there and along here are the connections for your receiver PPM, Crossfire or regular SBUS and you've got the TX and RX for UART2 here as well, plus the necessary power connections. And on the flip side, there's the connector here to allow you to plug this into your ESC board to connect everything up. But they do provide solder connections here if you want to use a different ESC board. Now, running underneath that top row of connections in the second row here, We've got the pads for UART3 and then connections for motors 5, 6, 7 and 8. Just like its bigger brother, this stack supports up to 8 motors, but you will of course need an additional ESC board if you're going to do that. But it means you can use this for your X8 or Y6 configuration cine lifters. Very nice. Down the left hand side here there's four power LEDs that show your battery voltages so you don't need a battery checker. Usual thing 0 to 25, 25 to 50, 50 to 75 and 75 to 100. Along the bottom edge are the I2C bus connectors for your external magnetometer. Um, there's connections for a lead strip and right at the end here you've got the buzzer pads. Now at this end on the bottom row of pads 
Very conveniently placed just under the I2C pads is a 4.5 volt back output and UART6. Now these are specifically designed for your connecting to your GPS sensor. And very usefully, this will power up when you plug the USB-C in here. And that's great because it means you can power up this and test your GPS without needing to connect a main battery. And because all these are down in the bottom left hand corner, it means your external magnetometer and GPS wires are all in the same place. So it's very well thought out in terms of layout. Now basically this has got five UARTs, but one UART4 is dedicated for ESC telemetry, but you've got four UARTs that you can use. And just over here, we've got a nine volt back output to power your DJI Air unit. The DJI Air unit sorry, only works up to 4S, so you will need this nine volt back output if you're powering from 6S. And these also come out of this six pin connector here. And you can use that to plug and play into your DJI Air unit, just plug it in, or just solder them if you're using a CADX Vista. And by the way, power for this stack is anything between 3 and 6S. Up here, you've got the USB-C connector, which you probably won't need to use that often because this board is wireless. You just use the SpeedyB app to connect it and, sorry, connect to it and configure the flight controller and your ESCs, whatever you want to do. And on the flip side here, we've got an SD card slot for an SD card up to four gig, and that's where it stores your black box logs. And just down there, if you can see it, that's the built-in barometer. Now, the gyro on this board is the newer Bosch BMI 270, which has been recently shown to be much better as a choice of gyro for flight controllers because it's got a much better noise performance. So that's a great decision by SpeedyB. And lastly, on each corner, there's connections here, 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 and here for programmable or manual lead strips. And these are available separately from SpeedyB. So let me see, yeah, here we go. We've got these LED strips. Now I've used these before and they are super bright and the way this works is you can program these or you can change the colors by just hitting the boot button very convenient okay so on to the 4-in-1 ESC PCB it's a 50 amp ESC that comes ready flashed with BL Heli S firmware and it uses the robust BB21 MCU and supports the usual bi-directional D-shot and RPM filtering and this is also a very high quality PCB and it's very well made. And just like the F722, SpeedyB provide this massive 1500 microfarad noise suppression capacitor. Now, very usefully, if you check here, we've also got a built-in TVS protection diode to catch voltage spikes either when you plug the battery in or when you've crashed and the motors are stalled. This will save your bacon. If you check out the product page on their website, there's loads of very detailed info on the stack and the app and what they can all do. And there's full details of all the solder pads and a wiring diagram showing how to connect everything, including analog or digital video, GPS and so on. SpeedyB wiring diagrams and info are always exceptionally good and very easy to understand. Now, the F405 V3's big trick is it is wireless. This has got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, BLE, on here, so we don't need a USB cable to talk to it to do any configuration, flash new versions, or look at the black box logs we can just use the SpeedyB app. So if I just connect that up to this power brick for convenience, and we start up the SpeedyB app, and you can see here's a whole load of devices. There's the F7, we've got the F745, but we're gonna choose 
the 405 V3 and we connect. Fantastic. So what we've got here is just the familiar Betaflight configuration, but it's actually running in an app. This is produced by SpeedyBee themselves and it does work with iNav and Emu Flight Configurator as well. And you can see we are connected, it's doing something. And this is Flash with SpeedyBee F405 V3, uh, Betaflight version 4.3.1. So it's pretty much up to date, not quite, but pretty much. So if you're not familiar with using the SpeedyB app, it's fantastic. So you've got the setup page. These are the presets page. We've got the ports page. So it's just like using Betaflight on your PC. And if you haven't used this app before, it's fantastic because you don't need to get a cable connected to this if it's buried deep inside your quad. And you can just connect to this when you're out in the field to adjust your tuning, look at your black box logs or even flash a new version of Betaflight or iNav or whatever you're doing. But the really useful thing is when you've just done a build, you'll find probably that one or more of the motors is turning in the wrong direction, in which case you need to connect BL Heli Suite 32 or BL Heli Configurator to this and the stack, go through a whole load of rigmarole to reverse the motors. But actually when you're using this app, do this, come on, Continue. So if we want to change the direction of the motor, if we've got this powered up and we find the motor's running the wrong direction, you just hit that to start the motor spinning and then you hit that to change direction. Obviously this doesn't do anything because there's nothing connected, <laughs> but it's that easy. Similarly, if you want to reorder the motors, you know, you've got it wired round a different way depending on what you're doing. but this isn't working because I don't have anything connected up at the moment, but it does make life so much easier. And let's have a look and see what else we've got on here. So we've got a firmware flasher. We've got the black box explorer. They have very usefully put an ELRS configurator on here, which is really good. You've got a BL Heli configurator, which I won't do because the board isn't connected. It's going to complain. It really is a fantastic app and I can't stress enough how much this makes your life easy when you're out in the field trying to configure things. No, uh, no wires, no cables, no difficulty connecting to your flight controller and no PC. It's fantastic. So you get all this for just $70 which is ridiculously good value for money. And with the current price of flight controllers on the rise, well, all electronics, this is fantastic news. And I'll leave all the usual links in the description where you can get more information and the latest prices and availability. Now, this is a brand new product that I've only recently managed to get my hands on. So expect these to be available very soon or on pre-order. Or you can order direct from Speedy B themselves. And I find their shipping direct to the UK is pretty quick and hassle-free. As always, thanks for watching, and if you found this helpful, why not subscribe or maybe buy me a coffee to support the channel. And I'll see you next time.